Hi, this is Omega with Freddie, and we're giving you two unboxings today, the Witch's Roots and Midnight Muses. I got these boxes the other day, and I had every intention of unboxing them, but my blood pressure dropped again, and I got really sleepy, and then had to deal with headaches ever since. But I'm feeling better, and gonna knock these out for you guys. I did what I said I wouldn't do or didn't want to do, I looked at a video for Sugar Muse's unboxing for July and I just could have kicked myself. It was so nice. <laughs> so I'm getting one next month, so I will definitely do an unboxing of that. And I ordered a new box. I'm going to try a new box. I forgot the name of it, but it's like 50 bucks or something, so it's substantial. And I think it's called Kay's Box, or it's from Texas or something. But it looked good, and I ordered it online. So I will get that in August. So without further ado, let's proceed. And Sugar Muses or Witch's Roots? Which one should I do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay, Sugar Muses. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Lilith, Queen of Witches. Oh, I like this already. Okay. And here's Lilith, Queen of the Witches. She was the biblical figure that refused to lie down beneath Adam. She wanted to be equal. And she went away. It was Adam's first wife, according to the Bible. And she left, left Adam. Eve was his second wife. And apparently God begged her. And that God is usually not, you know, in the Bible, in the habit of begging anyone, begged her to come back. She refused. So very interesting figure. Not very well known, not a lot written about her. There is some in the Talmud, the ba Babylonian ta Talmud, but other than that, not much. But here she is. She has a snake wrapped around her. This is awesome. Okay. And, and just like I said, as one of the most misunderstood archetypes of all time, she has been historically villainized because she refused to be bound by man's patriarchal laws flying free of conventional restraints. Her presence insists we repossess our sacred powers and no longer tolerate inequality, dishonor, or self-sacrifice. And I would say with this box, it this includes basically everyone not being subservient. I mean, I know this is a female queen of the witches. Um, Hecate is also called queen of the witches as well. Lilith is one of the oldest known female spirits of the world, dating back to the bird serpent goddess of antiquity. Her roots come from ancient Mesopotamia, where she was considered a wind spirit. For the Babylonians, she was the queen of the night and is depicted on a clay terracotta plaque from 2000 to 1600 BCE as a beautiful winged woman flanked by owls and perched upon two lions. The woman in the relief is acknowledged to be a goddess as she wears the horned headdress of a deity and holds the sacred rod and ring symbol in her raised hands. However, there is some debate whether it represents Lilithu, Lilith, Iana, Ishtar, um, or Eresh Kigal. Sorry, my pronunciations are off. Two brackets fell off of my, my uh, molars. Uh, this one's really giving me problems, so it's affecting my speech more than it usually does, so oh, braces, something else. Okay, so the correspondences are the directions east for air, north, and center for balance. Day is Friday. Associations, wind, storms, and the astrological sign of Scorpio. Time midnight through, through 3 a.m., whichever you consider to be the witching hour. I, to me, is 3 a.m. is a witching hour, but it can vary from person to person. Phase the dark moon or new moon. Very similar to 
Hecate or Hecate as some people pronounce it. Fae's dark, oh, I already said that, colors red and black, green to symbolize Eden. And green is also used, um, is corresponds to the planet Venus. And those are used to, to deal with matters of love, self-love, things like that. Symbols, dark crescent moons, apples, owls, snakes, and lions. Oh, that's nice. My birthday is next month. I'm a Leo, so the lions, that's really cool. Crystals, carnelian, onyx, red jasper, obsidian, quartz, black moonstone. Offering apples, red wine, flowers, crystals, dragon's blood, jasmine, incense. Other names, we went through that. Um, oh, I'll, I'll just say them again. Lilitu, First Eve, Matron Lilith, Queen of Sheba, Great Mother Ishtar, and Lilith. And um, as I said earlier, Lil Lilith is a symbol for empowerment, equality, and the act of reclaiming the part of ourselves that are vital for survival. She charges us with the duty of ever seeking after equality, not just for women, but for all people. Like her symbol, the serpent, she calls us to cast off the parts of our lives that are suppressing us and ask that we stand up for what we believe in, honoring our inner passions and making no compromise to our authentic self. She tells us to stand tall in our full power. If you would like to work with Lilith or any other deity, I suggest that you first ask to work with them, learn about their history and spend time meditating to gain insights. If the answer is yes, you'll be given a sign. Most goddesses will make themselves known to you and call upon the ones they have chosen and it may be difficult to ignore their call. Practitioners should not enter into rituals involving divine entities lightly. However, honoring the essence or energy of a god or goddess is almost always welcome. For example, you wish to embody self-value and self-respect. You wish to realize your true sacred self, etc. The magical items in this month's box can be used in the order they are listed or used separately as you are called to do. If you like the option of a guided ritual, I've outlined one below, along with the metaphysical properties of items, tools curated for this month's box. Oh, I'm excited. Okay. And already, look at this. It's like the stars in the sky twinkling and this serpent here. Okay. And this is the Oracle card, I believe. And there's some little scent in here, not a whole lot. Right, Freddie? So much calmer. I love it. I got him a tree, actually, and it's not totally put together. It's in back of me here. I got him one of those um, fantasy trees. It's seven feet tall, and it actually looks like a tree, but there's so much else going on. So that's on the back burner for now. I think it could be Freddie beautiful flower and it says fortune nice who could who could not like fortune okay all right and green look how well this is put together very herbal like and this is the Sugar Muses card here. And immediately I see here is a pentagram made out of, looks like twigs. I like this. I like stuff like this that's made from nature. Very cool. So I'll just I'll just um, I don't see it, but I know it's here. Oh, grapevine and twig pentagram star, and this is meant to be in the center of your altar, and then you light a Lilith incense stick. All right. Next looks like feels like a a tiny palm stone. 
I wonder if this is carnelian or onyx or red jasper. Hmm. I was going to say onyx, but it has some lighter color in here. What does it say? Sardonyx. That is actually a stone for August. It's one of the stones um, for, I guess, birthdays. Every month has a corresponding stone, like April gets the diamond, lucky. <laughs> and then uh, May gets emerald, which is my favorite stone, but oh well. This gemstone is a multicolored variety of banded onyx. Oh, there is some onyx in it. Normally, Onyx bands are black, but in this form, they have alternating reddish and white bands, which is a mixture of carnelian, onyx, and quartz. The gemstone may be used by holding it between the index finger and thumb and gently moving your thumb around the stone in circular motions. This action can help center the mind and promote more relaxed meditative state. <laughs> And this looks like the trio of offering, casting salt, and maybe an herb. And what do we have? I'm so, I'm excited about this box. Periwinkle, casting salts, and incense blend. Hmm. So here's the incense blend. The periwinkle and the casting salts. I love these little bottles. Really neat. And I think you guys know the pretty much, you know, very similar rituals and you use the salts, casting it around you clock clockwise or at least around the perimeter of visualizing protective light rising up from the ground and closing you in a protective sphere, sphere, excuse me. And anoint your third eye, pulse points, heart chakra in the bottom of your feet. The Lilith ritual oil is crafted to embody the essence of Lilith in a pro proprietary blend of dragon's blood resin, vanilla and amber, ooh, rain-soaked woods and night blooming florals in an almond oil base. Wow, smell it sounds yummy. I'm hungry. <laughs> Didn't eat much today. Because it is all organic, I recommend using it within six months. And store it in a cool place, not exposed to heat or direct sunlight, which breaks down the essential oils. So is this it? This must be it. And it has this neat design. I like the shape of these bottles. Oh, look at the, has the same drawing that was in the beginning, was on top of the box. I love it. Vanilla, what was it, vanilla? Vanilla Dragon's Blood. Mmm. Smells good. I plan on making lots of bath salts with this. Okay, remove these guts here. And, oh, this looks like matches. Where's my knife? I love getting uh, matches that are special. I like the long wood ones. I use the regular ones when I don't have them, but I actually get them off Amazon. Not this one in particular, but other ones. And you can go online and there are a lot of different covers, different designs. And this is the snake. This is so awesome. Here's the snake. 
And the back is the skeleton of a snake. Very interesting. And there are the matches and the side here. Love it. Love it already. I think I'll need this again. So, well, I'm not going to go through the whole ritual, really. I mean, you light this candle with a match, obviously, from the Serpent Matchbox. Mm. Where is it? I mean, we know it's a matchbox, right? Soy wax candle was hand poured and infused with apple, jasmine, cedar wood, fern, sage, juniper berries, and dried botanicals and essential oils. I love these candles. And here are the juniper berries. Four of them for, for mine. Looks like a shell poking out right there, right here. And it smells amazing. I could eat it. I have actually band practice coming up. I'm gonna jam with this new band. So I'm not quite dressed yet, but I wanted to knock this out. And well, actually not knock it out, but you know what I mean. I didn't wanna make you guys wait. So, and you can reuse these cans, I love them. And it looks like tea, root herbal tea. Let's see if I could adjust this to get Freddie in here more. I know you guys like Freddie. Oops. Oh, and then you can't see me. <laughs> okay. So in it, sarsaparilla root, chicory root, roasted dandelion root, carob pod, cinnamon, fennel, crystal malt, and coconut. That's unusual. Unfortunately, drinking teas for me or coffee, well, you can't see me, is not recommended because of my braces. It stains them. I've got to move this up a little bit. Make a compromise, Freddie. Yeah. And last but not, oh, the incense. Love incense. And I wonder if this is dragon's blood. Lilith incense stick. This incense contains dragon's blood and other resins and oil. I love the smell of dragon's blood. I mean, it's not real dragon's blood. That's what it's called. And this is, looks like some kind of jewelry or coin. And it's a snake. Here's the snake. Side. I can have Freddie wear it like on a collar. How would you like this, Freddie? Like, I would get him a collar and just have this dangle. What do you say? And it's cute. It's in this little moss. You know, I love the detail of these boxes. And it has, looks like a um, satin cord. I guess you could always put your own chain on that very nice this little box here hey pretty and this incense blend i'm I, th I wonder if this has dragon's blood in it looks like it because it's red oh freddie showing your butt <laughs> i think people love you out there but they don't want to see your butt come on turn around Turn around, Freddie. Come on, face the camera. 
Say hi. <laughs> oh, pretty. Oh, it's Dragon's Blood Sage in the glass vial. And it's a blend of resin, sage, and essential oils. Use a sweet smoke to add power to your ritual. Burn in a heat-proof vessel or incense burner. Do not consume. Right there. Showing your butt again. Hey, Freddy. Hey, turn around. Come on. That's a boy. So I'll go over this. Love it. And this is Midnight Muses, July 2020, Queen of the Witches. And you get the your intuitively drawn oracle card. And this is mine. You get the pentagram made out of twigs. I forgot what it was made out of. Grapevine. Okay, this beautiful drawing by Christy, love it. Thank you, Christy. Oh, I love her hair, how long her hair is. It's like a auburn color, love it. I tried to dye my hair red, auburn, didn't look very good. And you get the incense blend. The periwinkle, I'm gonna read the periwinkle. I've, I've never dealt with that before. Periwinkle herb, known in France as Violet de Saucier. No, that was bad. <laughs> Violet of the Sorcerers. It is a patron herb of witches. It may be added to any magical mixture to enhance the working. It is used to attract inner and outer beauty and in mojo bags for abundance, lust, and protection. Lust. Wow. It is also said to summon courage and banish fear. Charge your herbs with your specific intention before use. Do not consume. Wow. Powerful. So you get these three. And including the salts here. You get the oil the Lilith oil, this awesome candle, incense, dragon's blood incense, mm, love it, and the tea with the tea bag, I love the, this black packaging, it's great, and the snake charm. Is it upside down? No. On the satin ribbon. Neat. All right. So let's move on to the witch's roots. I'm very happy with, oh, in the carnelian, no, the onyx, sardonyx meditation stone in this pouch all the different striations and other mixtures in here. Interesting. I never knew that. Oops. So put this together. Love it. And we'll start on the witch's roots. Put this down. Oh, sorry, I'm in my robe. A moment, Freddy's up. I can adjust this so my head's not cut off. A little better, okay. The Witch's Roots for July, 2020. And that's how it presents. This is the smaller version, the smaller box of the Witch's Moon. I get both of them. Open doors. 
There are often times along our path where we may feel as if only problems and blockages surround us. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Let's get to the stuff. Okay. And some more beautiful drawings. Always love these. Ah, <sighs> another sigil. This is Mercury. Third pentacle of Mercury. And I'm sure they'll do a uh, description. I think one is for reference and one is actual to use. There have been other ones like this. And Triketra. This is the, we got a um, necklace like this with the witch's moon, the big box. And another drawing, lemongrass, beautiful. And, and this is the inside. Something kind of big, maybe. I'm not waiting this time. No teasing. Oh. Look. It's a little hanging. Oh, and it's green and gold, my favorites. Isn't that neat? I love it. Bells. Oh, you can hang that up. Outside or in, I, don't, I would probably have it on the inside. I wouldn't want it to, the weather to damage it. You can just open up a window and the breeze could blow on it. I love this. Just for this is amazing. And it looks like an oil. And I know some of you have also voiced that you wish that you wouldn't get so, you know, so much of the oil. I mean, they're, they're great oils. I mean, I just, I can't use them all. Ritual, oh, this is ritual body oil. Okay, so this you can use on your body. Okay, I like that. Smells really good. And let's see what it says. Looks like it says air. Ain ritual oil. Ain is a brilliant Irish goddess of summer and bright blessings, bringing with her the energies of good luck, wealth, and abundance. Okay. And it used to anoint your chakra centers during times of celebration. And the oil is enchanted with lemongrass, grapefruit, lemon, and bergamot oils, and lemongrass herb. Okay. Well, it's a body oil, so I like that. And then you get your lemongrass, a very generous amount. Palo Santo. Incense sticks. Oh, it smells, it's strong lemon smell. Very strong. Wow, I love it. Let's see. Why is it that I can never find it? <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the Seal of Solomon that we had since I found that. Included within our collection is the third pentacle of Mercury used as a reference to provide assistance when working to communicate. This artwork has been created by A.E. Alden and is made so that you may cut off the bottom, bottom half, half off, excuse me, to keep within your book of shadows. The top section of this card 
can be used in your personal practices. So you would cut along this dotted line and you would use this to work and then this would be in your book of shadows or what have you. And this is the spell candle. We had a yellow one for this month with the witch's moon. This is more of a bright lemon yellow. So you would place that in the center. And I don't really need to explain Palo Santo wood, really. I think I'm missing something. This is called holy wood. Absolutely, it smells like lemon because it's with the, um, it's been next to the incense. Before and after ritual work, clearing your space is known for bringing therapeutic healing power. And here's the dropper for the oil. And it feels like a tumbled stone in this orange pouch. Here it is. And what does it say? Brutilated quartz tumbled stone. Among many qualities of this unique and powerful stone, our intentions for including this brutilated, never heard of that before, is to accompany you on your journey towards expanded awareness as you carry this unique stone with you during your day or place among your altars. Allow its wonderful energies to influence your ability to recognize opportunity. Okay. We'll read a little bit about this wind chime. And Triketra is a symbol of dating back as early as 500 BCE and was used by many cultures to represent the power of threes. It comes from the Celts, Wiccans, and Neo-Pagans. Uh, triple goddess also resonates with life, death, and rebirth. These qualities correspond with the sacred cycle of life. As you hang this beautiful wind chime within your sacred space or magical garden, allow the vibrant chimes to remind you of the flowing movement within your life cycle as well as the end, endless opportunities that are always available to you. Awesome. I like them both. I love this. My favorite colors. So I will go over what you get here. Um, and this is opening doors. And here is the drawing for the Triketra or Triketra, some people would say. Look at him. It's like he's drunk or something. Look how calm. And, and no, I didn't drug him. I swear. He's been like this pretty much ever since we moved here. Here's the lemongrass. The seal of Solomon, third pentacle of Mercury. The body oil, I'm gonna use it. Spell candle, a tiny one. Generous amount of lemongrass. And this rutilated, what was it? Quartz tumbled stone. And lemongrass incense. Palo Santo wood and this beautiful wind chime. I love them both. Tell me which one you guys like the most and tell me your thoughts on these, these boxes. If you like them, uh, what would you like to see different if, if not, but I really like them. I love the drawings and the incense and the candles. You can never have too many candles. That I will never 
get tired of, I don't think. But it has, you know, the nice parchment describing the items. But I'm actually, I'm very happy with this. I especially, I mean, I like both, but Lilith is very mysterious. And I like the Midnight Muses box. I like this one too. I mean, I like them both. I love them both. I will always like the Witch's Moon. That's where I started with. That was the first box that I bought. I think it was the first or was it Book of Shadows? I remember way back when I did some, I'm not sure which one was first, but I, I mean, for a long time I've had the Witch's Moon and then later they came out with the Witch's Roots and I think they're fantastic boxes and Sugar Muses has the miniature one, which is the Midnight Muses that you saw and the large one. Uh, I get, I ordered the deluxe box, which is the big one. So it should be here in August. So, um, the one for this month was great. And I regret watching the video for it. So this is it, you guys. Please um, subscribe. Give Freddie and I a thumbs up and comment below. Uh, love you guys. And thank you for being loyal to my channel and um, communicating with me. And especially during some trying times for me. I really appreciate your supportive words in your comments so hope all is well with you guys and i will see you with the next boxes um i'm gonna have one two three four five boxes next month okay so i'm gonna try another one i'm gonna try to try more you know try different boxes i know you guys love these but i'm i'm gonna try to mix it up a little bit add stuff to it so this is Omega and Freddie signing off. Oh, this is perfect timing. Say bye, Freddie. Bye.